What's going on ladies and gents? Welcome to a Genshin video. Listen, <laughs> um, in my free-to-play account, I have a tough decision to make. But I had to make this video. So as you guys know, Arataki Ito is coming in very soon. In about, you know, two weeks. Give or take, well, 15 days, 11 hours in, in this case. And as you guys can see, I have saved up quite the amount of gems here. I have over 10,000 with 20 more on top of that. Intertwined fates, obviously. And uh, yeah, I am looking forward for his arrival. However, I am thinking of skipping his banner entirely. Okay, there's a few reasons for this actually. Arataki Ito is the type of character that needs a certain composition for him to work. So he has a certain niche composition that he probably needs and probably will work on him. However, for me personally, I think uh <laughs> I think I'm gonna be skipping on his banner because I don't really have any Geo characters that can support him. I don't have an Albedo. I don't have you know, obviously, Goru is on his banner. So if I did summon on him, I would have Goru. But it's not like I have Albedo nor Zhongli. So I can't even make a full team composition with Geo characters anyway. That would, you know, fully support um, Goru. You know, his, you know, abilities, I guess. As well as, you know, helping Ito becoming the strong he can be. Because Zhongli is the only one that can actually make Geo resistance reduction, right? So I'm at this stage in where I have a dilemma and I don't know what to do with uh, with that. <laughs> so I might skip uh, Arataki Ito entirely because my team just doesn't fit that. As you guys can see, my team composition... Well, I have to press C here. My team composition consists of this. You know, Tartaglia, Kazaha, Yangling, as well as Yoimiya with Shincho. Rosaria, you know, I have no space for any Geo characters here. And if I did, it would be Zhang Li, not Arataki Ito. So I have the choice here in skipping his banner entirely for my free to play account. Obviously, on my main account, I still want him and I probably will get him. But on this account, <laughs> looks like a skip. Looks like a skip for me. I wonder what you guys are going to be doing because that's my current situation right now. I think I am going to be skipping his banner. Now, Shunha, Shunha, I'm pretty interested in. And I wonder if she will bring any value to my team specifically. I want to see how she works with Xiang Ling. I want to see how she works with Tartaglia. Maybe she's an insane, like, freeze applier. No idea. But I am certainly interested to see what happens there. I do, however, need a pole arm for her. So I might even try to get a weapon for her yes i know very niche but i think i have to uh, i don't really have a weapon for her so maybe hopefully we get a decent pole arm in the upcoming future because i'm not summoning on this banner i have no reason to unless you know freedom sworn i guess kind of cool on kaza really cool on kaza actually but i don't know i don't think i'm gonna be doing that however um i might consider doing that on my main account so yeah let me know what you guys think what you guys want to see me do because i'm at a certain standpoint here obviously i don't really have an albedo i don't have jungle so it would make the most sense if i actually skip our takito for my current situation so yeah, let me know what you guys would do in my certain situation here but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i know it's been short i have still a lot of work left for my actual albedo showcase in which he you know fully performs on his new artifact set as well as the cinnabar spin so you guys are gonna have to wait a little longer for that one but yeah thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking this video subscribing to the channel as well let me know if you're gonna skip our Ito or someone on his banner if you're free to play especially